one man in the village, then the Kennedy with it. That's the posty, that's the posty. When talking o' the mail's the most important mail ne do is the posty, is the posty. In all kinds of weather, be it heat or be it frost, you'll always find the posty sticking to his post. Um, and doon, as I go doon maroon, in December or in June, in the county or the dune. When the snow is snowing and the rain is raining hard, you'll always find the posty wee a letter or a card. As I walk doon the street, I hear the pattering of feet, and all the doors fly open as they are a shoot to meet. The man who brings them misery or happiness divine. Oh! There's a a welcome or a frown for posty number nine. You know, even when I was a laddie, I used to play at posties. I rushed in one day and cried, Hey, mother, I've just delivered a real letter to every hoose in the street. She said, That's a smart boy. But where did you get the real letters? I said, Oh, I found them in the dresser, all tied up with pink ribbon. You know, here's some of the mail I've got to deliver the day. Just you wait until I get my specs. Now, let's see what the... Oh, there's a card from a Jewish tailor to a customer who owes him some money. It says, Dear sir, who bought a nice suit from me and did not pay? Who said he was going to pay in a week? Who hasn't paid yet? Who is a scoundrel, a liar, and a thief? Yours truly, Isaac Levinsky. You know, people should look at both sides before sending picture postcards, you know. This week, the provost is away and has sent one to his wife. On it, he writes, Spending a few days here, have met several friends. And you know, the view on the other side is Peter Heed Prison. Here's another card here. Dear Joe, I meant to send you a couple of ducks last week, but they got better. The other day, a wife wrote to her husband, uh, uh, I think he said, uh, she said, uh, Dear Jim, my mother has passed away. What shall I do about the funeral? Ordinary burial, cremating, or embalming. Now here's his reply. Take no chances. Do all three. Wait to see with this. Oh, dear Mr. McIntosh, I left my umbrella at your house last week. I'll get it when I come back from Switzerland. Yours truly, Peter Brun. <gasps> he's an awful lad, that Brun. He'll lose his heat one of these days. And now he's away to Switzerland for his lungs. <gasps> Off excitable, too. He once broke a blood vessel looking at a chess match. He has wanted a bookmaker. <laughs> oh, and there's no stamp on it. It says, dear sir, I bet you three hippies this card will cost you tippence. You know, I had a bit of bother one week. There was twelve people in the village called Brun, and one had died and the other had gone abroad. So as soon as he got to India, this lad sent the card home to his wife, but I took it to Mrs. Brun, the widow. Oh, she was half annoyed about it. It read, Arrived safely. He terrific. You know, I get a lot of fun as I go up and down, as I go run maroon, in December and in June, in the county or the town. When the snow is snowing and the rain is raining hard, you'll always find the posty wee a letter or a car. As I walk down the street, I hear the pattering of feet, and all the doors fly open as they are a shoot to meet. The man who brings them misery or happiness divine. Oh, the a welcome or a frown for posty number nine. <laughs> 